Triana Galang, and for this art talk, I will be presenting my pastries. So, my talent for baking started when I was 7 years old, and it was my mother who taught me how to bake. She taught me patiently and with compassion, and she made sure I followed the right routine to baking. During her young years, she promised that she would teach her children how to bake, but among all four of my sisters, I was the only one who loved baking. And that's why I'm baking now. You can also say that I was self-taught because at the age of 12, I searched on Google recipes of cookies, cakes, breads, and did them on my own. And just recently, at the year 2020, I made my own cookie line. Before we get started, let me show you how I prepare all my things for baking. Here, we have all the dry ingredients and my wet ingredients. I make sure the sugars are mixed, the flour, the eggs are ready, my condiments, all nuts, and butter. Now, all our ingredients and equipment are ready. Let's get started. Now, butter comes first. It's time to add our sugar and let's mix that for three minutes. The eggs come next. The next, our dry ingredients. And now, for my favorite part, the condiments. Here we have macadamia, almonds, cranberries, walnuts cashews, and sunflower seeds. Baking to me is a wonderful way to share food and joy with other people. My mother always shared her love through cooking and baking, and I found that I feel the same way when I share what I bake. Baking for others increases my well-being, contributes to my stress relief, and it makes me feel like I've done something good for the world, which increases my meaning in life and connection with other people. There is also a symbolic value in baking for others because food has both physical and emotional significance. And I want to share with people the lovely experience of eating or taking a bite of some delicious pastry. And this particular cookie is somewhat healthier, best for older people or people who are conscious of their sugar intake since I use diabetic safe sugars for this. I want the craving of diabetic people or sugar conscious people like my mom to be satiated and happy with this cookie. And now we're done mixing, it's time to scoop the cookies out and lay them on a tray for freezing. Now that we're done shaping them, it's time to put them in the fridge. And now we wait for one hour for the cookies to rest. And please follow lembasfolk.cookies on Instagram where I sell various cookies like chocolate chip cookies, double chocolate cookies, Oreo cheesecake cookies, and more. Thank you all for watching my art talk. 